Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Joy Uchejima and these are the headlines for tracking at the moment. Troops of the Nigerian army deployed for counter-terrorism operations in the northeast in conjunction with a team from the Nigeria police and Kasina State Community Watch Corps in a recent fighting patrol made contact with terrorists at Dan Musa in Dan Musa local government area of Kasina State. Authorities say the troops engaged the terrorists in a fierce gun battle resulting in the neutralization of one terrorist and the recovery of some arms and equipment. The organized labor has handed as the federal government May 31st as the deadline to come up with a realistic and reasonable new minimum wage for the Nigerian workers. Labor made this known during the Workers' Day celebrations at the Eagle Square in Abuja on Wednesday. The president of the Nigeria Labor Congress, Joe Ajairo, and his counterpart in the Trade Union Congress, Festus Osifo, were unanimous that the 30,000 Naira current minimum wage has been insufficient for Nigerian workers in the light of current economic realities and inflatory pressure. And the Competition and Consumer Protection Tribunal in Abuja has ordered that its interim order restraining Multi-Choice Nigeria Limited from increasing the DSTV tariff be pasted at the firm's corporate headquarters on or any known address of the branches across Nigeria. The chairman of the tribunal, Saratu Chafil, who made the order dated April 29, 2024, said the document should also be pasted at multi-choice known email address, social media handles, and any means of communication public publicly known for multi-choice. And popular celebrity bartender and businessman Pascal Okechuku, also known as Kubana Chief Priest, is exploring an out-of-court settlement for the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission with respect to the charge of Naira abuse leveled against him by the Anti-Graft Agency at the Federal High Court sitting in Lagos. His lawyer, senior advocate of Nigeria, Chika Osolu Ojuku, disclosed this to trial judge Justice Kainde Ogundare at the proceedings on Thursday. And on business, Danish shipping giant Maersk posted a huge drop in net profit for the first quarter on Thursday as Yemeni rebel attacks are forcing it to avoid the vital Red Sea route. Maersk reported a net profit of $177 million in the first three months of the year, a 13-fold drop from the same period last year. Turnover fell 13% to $12.4 billion, slightly lower than forecast by analysts surveyed by financial data firm FactSet. On the foreign scene, Iran announced on Thursday sanctions on several American and British individuals and entities for supporting Israel in its war against the Palestinian militant group Hamas. The Islamic Republic unveiled the punitive measures in a statement from its foreign ministry. It said the sanctions targeted seven Americans, including commander of the U.S. Special Co Operations Command, General Brian Fenton, and a former commander of the U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet, Vice Admiral Brad Cooper. And finally, on sports, defending champions Bendel Insurance Football Club of Benin will begin the defense of their Federation Cup title when they take on Stormers of Ogun State in the round of 64 at the Old Parade Ground in Abuja at 4 p.m. The champions beat Enugu Rangers 1-0 at the Stephen Keshi Stadium Masaba in Delta State to win the title in 2023 to end their fourth FA title. And that's it on the newsroom at this hour. Join us again at the top of the hour for more stories. Bye for now.